Today's to the point topic, we're going to talk about the grid array option in Lightburn. Uh, and I've used this a few times in, uh, in different videos, but I couldn't find where I'd actually focused on the grid array tool itself. Uh, if I did, hopefully this one will be shorter and more to the point. So if you have objects you want multiples of, so let's just grab an object. I got a heart here since uh, Valentine's Day is coming up soon. And you want multiples. Uh, typically, if it's just one or two, you'll use Control D for duplicate, uh, or you'll just copy and paste it somewhere. But if you need a lot of them, you want to select it and then select the array tool, the grid array. So you have X columns going across, and you have Y rows going up and down. So this total width refers to the width of your object and you can see up top it's the same as it is here the spacing is the spacing that will be between the objects after you add more to it and this padding between edges option is what uh, that refers to it can also be changed to the distance from the center of one object to the center of the next uh, I usually leave it here. I haven't used the other one yet. There may be projects in the future where I need to. But for now, we've got an X spacing of one millimeter. Here you can increase the number of objects and just go up until you get as many as you want. To add to the Y rows, you do the same thing. You can leave the spacing at one, or you can make the spacing anything you want. So we'll increase that spacing to two, and then just go up, and we get more hearts. Click OK, and note that everything is grouped together and selected. And that is because, let's just get rid of this, select and delete, we'll grab us another heart and start over. Click our array tool, our grid array. There's an option down here at the bottom to group the results and select the results. So if you're doing something that you don't want it to do that, uh, then, then take it off. But if you have a, a large group of items and you're just putting your array in the middle of a larger project, uh, and you want to be able to ensure you can get it back out if you need to, then you probably want to group it and let it select the results so you can do that. Okay, so let's do something different. You have an option here that you can reverse the direction. Right now, the hearts would go to the right. If you click this and then go up, they're going to go to the left. And then if you can do the same thing on the Y, reverse direction. And then they're going to go down, and they're right there behind my head. But you can see what they've done. They uh, went in a different different direction, and, and that would be, uh, your project would dictate whether or not you needed to do that. So let's get rid of those, grab another heart, and do something totally different. Select, go to the grid. Sorry for that whistle. I don't know what that's about. Okay, let's take this off. Let's take this back to one. You have an option to shift by half. So if you click that, we'll just do it on the X for now. Then when you go up, it's going to rotate up and down by half of your object. Now we can do it on the other side, but it Probably will look a little weird. Probably will look a little weird. Yep, they overlap a little bit, but you know, that's a unique pattern, and you never know when you might need a unique pattern for your project. All right, let's get rid of those, grab another, and let's see what else is in this tool for us. So, this shift by half. Uh, will really come in handy if you're doing something like a uh, living hinge uh, because you have to shift 
to be able to do the hinge. Uh, if anybody wants to see that done, let me know and I'll I'll do a living hinge. I have a, a older video where I made a, a book cover that I, I done the hinge in, but if you just want to see the hinge and how it's done, uh, let me know in the comments and we'll uh, we'll do that video. So uh, I was thinking there was something else, but maybe not there there is virtual array but that'll be a different video we'll do a different video for that one but if you get your array let's do uh let's just do it and you wanted to check your spacing uh sometimes you can you can back up you can even get negative but you're still not quite touching and you want to uh you want your laser to work as efficiently as possible uh, and you don't want to waste material. So let's get a few more out. Let's click OK. And if you're maybe doing uh, doing a bunch of logos or you're doing uh, something that you're, uh, you're repetitively doing and you want to just check real quick to make sure these are not too close, you can ungroup them. Let's do that. Ungroup. You can just grab a couple, you can pick them out of the middle, you can grab them from wherever. And then you can go to your laser layer, and right here, under Home, you can select Cut Selected Graphics. And it'll just pick those two out, or three, or whatever you have selected, and it'll cut those so you can test the distance and the cut before you go cut a whole page uh, and then realize uh, you had them too close or they were too far away or whatever you were trying to avoid. Something else you may find useful with Grid Array is the ability to mirror your result. Uh, let's grab something different. We'll just grab a logo. Make this a little smaller. Select it. Select your Grid Array. You can mirror both X and Y on the columns and rows. So if we mirror on X and click up one, it gives us an exact reverse copy to the right. And of course we know if we select reverse, it would go to the left. So let's click on the Y. It just takes that copy and flips it over. So over on the rows, we'll click X and go up one. And it gives us an exact reverse copy of that up. Uh, and of course, if you click reverse direction, it would go down. So let's click on the Y and it flips that over. So you can play around with this and find some uses for it. I'm sure I will at some point. Uh, for now, that's all I know about the grid array, except for virtual. And like I said, we'll do a separate video on that. Uh, so if you have questions, let me know. I'll be glad to answer them. And for now, that wraps up Grid Array and today's To The Point Topic.